Hi, my name is Jack Bourne. I'm going to give you a walkthrough, show you step by step as you watch over my shoulder how easy it is to create a three-dimensional product graphic that you can use on lead gen forms or order pages inside of PDFs. You can use them all sorts of different places in your marketing. So with that, let me go ahead and show you that the software that I've got is called Boxshot King. And I'm going to log in and show you how to use that. So let's say, for example, that I want to do a, a course or a webinar on how to market on Facebook. So what I want to do to just make this super simple, I'm going to take a screen capture using a tool called Jing. Now there's a whole bunch of different types of tools that you could use. Jing is free, uh, but use whatever screen capture tool that you feel most comfortable with. And this is just one way to create one of these, but it's one of my favorite ways, especially if you're going to be doing a webinar. So I'll call this A1 uh, Facebook demo and I'm gonna save this to my desktop make it real easy to find that okay so I'll save that file and we'll come back to that in just a sec alright so now what I want to do is go into the members area and I'm already logged in now the great thing about this is that because everything works on the server uh, this will work for Mac or PC and it's so super super easy to use you've got 40 different types of templates and I'm not going to show you every single one of these obviously so let's just jump in and the ones ones that I like to use for say webinars or to indicate some sort of video so it could be video training what have you is an iPad so we got the iPad both vertical and horizontal uh, you can also do the iPod or the two-dimensional or three-dimensional video players so let me go ahead and do the iPad horizontal it's one of my favorite ones so with the other types of product graphics like CDs and things like that, you could just use an existing background. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Choose File. And here's that screenshot that you just saw me grab. So now what I want to do is I want to resize it. So I don't need any extra software to do that. I just click with the crosshairs and drag across the page. And in the top right hand corner, you can see that as I drag it, it gives me an idea of how it's going to look when when the image is finally rendered. So I can just drag the, the corners around until I'm happy with it. And then I can even slide this over to change exactly what part of the screen I'm grabbing. And once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and click Crop Selection. But first, I think I need to make this a little bit wider. There we go. So I click Crop Selection. Now what I could do is I could insert some text. So I'll just do this super fast just to give you an idea of how this works. I'll choose black for my color and I'll do free webinar. Click generate text and then I'll click on the text to just add that in. Bring this down here and now let's insert an image. All of this is optional. You don't have to do this but I just want to show you some of the, some of the power that you have with this software. So I'll click on new because this is a new webinar I'm going to be doing. I'll hold down the shift key and drag the corner to keep the dimensions of this the same. And that looks good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finalize and you see that spinning graphic which is pretty well recognized as hey just wait a second where something's about to happen. So what's going on is that on the server the graphic is being generated. The most I've seen this take is a minute, but as you see, uh, it was generated very, very quickly. So now I have a graphic that I can resize very easily if I want to. And also I can change the background color. Or what I like to do is I like to click or check the box to choose a transparent background. And I'll click to download. So with that, I'll go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and take a look. And there we are. So that's the graphic that I just created. So I would log into, I use WordPress, but whatever CMS or blogging platform you use, you can just log in and choose the upload button, find this graphic and upload it. And it's just that simple. So now I've got a graphic that I can easily put on my website right next to my opt-in form. Very eye-catching and it's going to draw people to it. So once again, my name is Jack Bourne. I hope this tutorial gave you an idea of some of the power behind Boxshot King and how quickly you can create great-looking, high-resolution, three-dimensional product graphics for your website.